Okay students, so in this video we will see how to connect uh, potentiometer circuit diagram and in this uh, experiment we will compare the EMF of two cell which is kept in front of you, one is Daniel and another is Laclanchi cell. So with the help of potentiometer we have to uh, connect, uh, we have to compare their uh, uh, EMF. So first we will see circuit diagram. So here is the uh, circuit diagram in front of you and uh, this is what basically this is main battery main power supply okay and uh, this is a potentiometer wire we will see this is 400 centimeter wire okay running uh, along a scale a scale is marked here as you've seen and uh, uh, this is two battery e1 and e2 where we have to connect the uh, we have to uh, compare emf of these two cells by using this uh, potentiometer and negative terminal of this battery uh, main power supply is going to the to a key okay and uh, then from key it is going to rheostat this is actually rheostat rh okay and uh, uh, this is two terminal of potentiometer p and q okay so this uh, uh, rheostat variable terminal of rheostat is going to the uh, terminal q and uh, this is 400 centimeter wire and here we have three way key this a point b point and c point now if i will join this two line so this e1 will come into roll and this uh, e1 will uh, come uh, this emf of e1 will be measured okay with the help of this jockey and if i'll connect if i'll disconnect this one and connect b and c so e2 will be in the circuit Okay, and uh, galvanometer will show the deflection accordingly. And here is one resistance box, and with the help of resistance box, there is one jockey, and jockey is uh, which is sliding on the wire, so you can measure the null point. Now we'll see the apparatus. So this is what your one of the cell, okay, Daniel cell. Then we have here we have main power supply, and then here we have Laclanchi cell. These two cells we have to uh, compare, okay, and this is what potentiometer. This is what wire is running along from this point to this point. This is 100 centimeter, and then from here to again, if you come at this point, then this is 200 centimeter accordingly. And here finally, it finishes at 400 centimeter. And here is one scale along which these wires are running. So you can measure the uh, length, balancing length by using this scale. Okay. And uh, here this got our main power supply. This is the galvanometer which will require to measure the balance point and this is one resistance box 2000 ohm resistance is already removed because i have already connected the circuit and this is the rheostat this is the variable terminal of rheostat okay and uh, this is a two-way key you can see here this is two-way key and this is one-way key which is uh, used in the circuit and uh, now we'll see circuit diagram so remember the circuit diagram of potentiometer here is the so you can see there are three wire at point p one is one which is coming from the battery and one is coming uh, uh, from this e1 a positive terminal of e1 and positive terminal of e2 so e1 e2 and this e all the three positive terminals are coming to point p so now this is the point p you can see here and this is the positive terminal of e1 this is the positive terminal of E2, okay, and this is the positive terminal of E3. All are coming at point P. You can see this is there, there is three wire, okay. This wire is going to positive. You can see this is red color, positive terminal, and uh, this wire, this wire is going towards this uh, positive terminal of main power supply, and uh, this is what positive terminal this is not e actually you can see this wire going to the positive terminal of battery okay uh, e2 now what about negative you can see the circuit diagram negative terminal of e1 and e2 going to the this two way key so this is what two way key so i am taking this negative terminal of this battery okay one point is here and another negative terminal of e2 is going to this point and this is the this is what this is common and common this point is going towards the galvanometer so you can see this is coming towards the galvanometer okay and galvanometer from galvanometer one wire is going to resistance box 
and uh, from resistance boss current will follow this path and from this path coming uh, this uh, another terminal of resistance box is going to the jockey which we will slide on this wire and measure the balance point and coming to the next part of circuit so negative terminal of battery is going to a key so main power supply this is the main power supply students and this negative terminal is going towards this uh, key and with the help of key you can see the circuit diagram with the help of key going to register rheostat so here is the key and from key it is going towards the rheostat so this is this is the wire which is going towards the rheostat okay and from rheostat by variable terminal is going at point q point q and this is where your circuit is complete now we will see whether circuit connection is right or wrong so for that you know there there must be two side deflection when we will connect our jockey at uh, both the end of the potentiometer now let's switch on the circuit so first of all i am using this battery this one okay so i have to connect this one this key in the two way key so we i am selecting this key okay and now switch on the circuit so you can see circuit is switched on and your main power supply is gone remove 2000 ohm resistor already removed okay and now look at the galvanometer okay and i am connecting at one end so look at the deflection in the galvanometer just a minute this is okay it is going left side now connecting to terminal q it is going towards right side okay see at terminal p left side terminal q right side it means circuit connection is correct means now you can take reading okay this is the circuit connection now to find out the balance point so you have to uh, measure you have to find the balancing point with the help of this jockey you can see it is going so you have to gently tap on this wire you can see on this wire you know the procedure so this is deflection is decreasing then it is now you can see so like that you can find out the balance point just a minute so at this point at this point friends you can see the deflection and the galvanometer at the same point you can see see very small deflection so little bit ahead so this is what this is what your balance point i think just a minute if this is your balance point you can measure the length it is approximate 110 and now what we have to do we have to remove this sir this switch we have to connect it to the e2 so i'm connecting it to the e2 and you can switch it off you can switch on this circuit okay now let's find out the balance point for this circuit it is showing deflection retro deflection now you have to find out the balance point i am looking in the galvanometer just a minute i'll show you the balance point See, you can see the deflection in the galvanometer i am coming to the next wire it is larger deflection but now you can see small deflection you know the poten principle of potentiometer v is directly proportional to l or v upon l is equal to constant potential gradient is constant so this is what just a minute Find balance point. Yes, this is the balance point. So it is coming across 162 around. Okay. So now you have E1, you have E2. You can compare the EMF of both the cell, taking the ratio. So this was all about the circuit diagram. Let's see one more time. You can see circuit diagram. All the positive terminal of all batteries E1, E2, and E3. This is suppose E1, and this is main uh, battery, main power supply E and E. and this e e2 all the positive terminals positive 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 all will come at point p 
ओके थ्री वायर एट पॉइंट पी थ्री वायर एंड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ ई वन एंड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ ई टू यू कैन मेक एनी वन सेल ई वन एंड ई टू ओके बिकॉज जस्ट वी हैव टू कंपेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट विच इज विच बैटरी ऑफ ग्रेटर ई एम एफ राइट सो दिस इज नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ वन बैटरी नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ अनदर बैटरी दे विल कम एट टू वे की दिस इज वन पॉइंट ऑफ टू वे की दिस इज अनदर पॉइंट ऑफ टू वे की and this is the common point okay which will go to the galvanometer like that you can remember the circuit diagram okay and then from galvanometer negative terminal of galvanometer remember here common point this common point will come to the positive of the galvanometer okay otherwise polarity will change and you will not get proper reflection so remember this will come to the positive of galvanometer this common point of two way key okay now negative point this negative terminal of galvanometer will go to the resistance box resistance box the box don't have polarity you can connect any one of this point and then one terminal will go to the this jockey so one part of circuit is completed now come to the negative part of main power supply negative part of main supply will go to the this jockey this uh, one way key and from one way key you can connect it to the rheostat you can see it is going towards the to the rheostat and variable terminal remember variable terminal will go to the terminal q here you can make mistake so variable terminal one chances of mistake make sure variable terminal will go to the point q and this common point will go to the positive of galvanometer this you have to take care and and you can connect am, 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 ammeter also but there is no need to connect ammeter okay because we are not measuring current However, if you are removing this 2000 ohm resistor, so no need to connect uh, ammeter. So this was all about circuit diagram of potentiometer comparison of EMF E1 by E2. Okay, so that's all about this video. Thank you for watching.